A year and a half ago, our social worker called us and said she had some great news. And I thought, great, they, they found the cure, they've made a mistake, it's, it's really good news, it's got to be good. And then she said, no, not quite, but the, we'd like to give Bennett a wish from the Children's Wish Foundation. Her told our social worker, I said, you've got the wrong kid. And she said, no, Christine, he has a life-threatening illness. It's the first time that I felt that this wasn't going to end well. Bennett and Maeve have a sister, and she's the middle sister. Her name's so Lucy. Lucy sees her brother go to the hospital at least once a month her tests or her doctor's appointments and she she wants to be part of it. Lucy's five years old and she is uh, Lucy doesn't have dyskeratosis congenita and we've learned that disease affects a family. I still don't really understand it actually. On a whim I signed up so our goal was to raise six hundred dollars and we wrote about it, sent out an email, sent out a blog post and within 10 days, we raised $18,000. And that was just because our friends and family needed some way. That was the biggest message. It was, if something good can come of Ben's disease and Maeve's disease, then let this be. Let it be us giving back. And let it, let it be us spreading the word of the good things that can come from these situations that we'd rather not be faced with, I guess. The way that other people can help us is by thinking about others who need help. So we, we really feel there's two ways you can make a difference. Uh, one way is to support, walk, donate, join the Okotoks Wishmaker Walk on October 13th in Okotoks. The other, the other way that you can make a profound impact is by visiting onematch.org and signing up for the bone marrow registry. There's 600 people currently waiting for a bone marrow match in Canada and it just takes one person to make a family's wish come true. What I really want is for people to help create wishes for others.